I've got to be honest with you, I have fallen into a bit of a rhythm when it comes to using Canva. There are so many things that I know I'm not doing the right way, but it's, you know, it's a habit that I've done for years and years and years. But one habit that I really need to break is paying attention to what's on the left hand side within Canva, because there is a tab that I have literally never clicked on. And when I did, I discovered so many tools that I have not been using in my business, things that could have enhanced my images or simply made my life easier. So what we're going to do quickly in this video is we're going to walk through what is actually underneath apps within Canva. And maybe you can discover some tools that you can use in 2020 to help you take your designs to the next level. If you are not a member of my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library filled with cheat sheets, tutorials, checklists, and even stock photos for free, just go to LaShondaBrown.com or you can click on the link in my description. Without further ado, let's hop in. So some of these do look familiar to me if I were to be honest with you, like enhance your images. This is actually a duplicate of those photo effects, which I did an entirely separate video about. So even though these are new, they seem pretty familiar. What I didn't know is that you can supercharge your workflow by connecting it to Canva. So you can post your designs on your LinkedIn profile or company page. And this could come to play when you are creating maybe Instagram style templates. So you don't even have to log into LinkedIn. If you connect it, you can take your content directly from Canva and post it there. You can save your designs in MailChimp. So for those of you who use MailChimp as your email marketing software, this could save you some time by putting your graphics design here on your MailChimp account. I don't really use OneDrive, but if you do, you have access to that. Here is something interesting. Post designs to your boards on Pinterest. I talked to you guys about how I want to implement a Pinterest strategy in 2020. This may be a way to save me some time. So this is something that I may connect to my Canva account. We did talk about how you can utilize Canva to design PowerPoints within Canva itself and even fake the look of PowerPoints by exporting as a PDF. So that's nice, but it's, it's also a familiar feature. Now, I didn't know that you could connect it to Slack. If you are managing a team and you're using Slack to communicate, that could be super helpful if you need to collaborate on stuff. So just know you can connect it to Slack. You can also post your designs to Tumblr and Twitter. And apparently you can also share your designs in WeChat. This top row of apps shows you how you can incorporate some of your favorite media to take your designs to the next level. You can embed videos into your design. So take a moment and think about perhaps creating your Instagram stories within Canva itself, even if you're embedding a video that could save you a lot of time. You can add your favorite emojis to your designs, which is just a fun way to engage with your audience. I talked about in a previous video how you can connect Dropbox so you can add your photos from Dropbox to Canva and your designs from Canva back into Dropbox, which will save you some time. Do the same thing with your Facebook photos. You can add GIFs to your designs. You can also add a Google map. Now this is something that I did not realize was an option. So perhaps if you're doing a PDF about your business, it might behoove you to embed a Google map into your designs. Know that that is an app that you can connect. You can add your photos from Instagram to your designs. So if Instagram is your primary marketing tool for your business, save yourself some effort, connect your Instagram, and now you can pull your images from your Instagram account into Canva. You can add some free photos from Pixabay and Pexels into your designs. I'm not entirely sure if those are separate from what shows up in the Canva photos search. But if it's not, here's another way to add some more images. QR codes. 
I had no idea that there was a simple way to add QR codes to your designs. And I think the example that they have is one of the best uses of a QR code. Most people are not walking around with the need to scan a QR code. But if you are a realtor and you're putting codes on your one sheets outside of houses, this could be an awesome way to lead someone to a video tour or a listing on your website. It gives you more ways to display media to potential buyers. Had no idea, but you can also do that in Canva. And let's see here, we also have YouTube and Google Drive. You can add YouTube videos to your designs and you can also add photos from Google Drive to your designs. So like I said, I would encourage you to make sure that you click on the left hand side because I'm telling you, you get into a habit with Canva and you happen to use the same things over and over and over and you don't realize how many new features have been added right underneath your nose. Here's also a quick way for you to get to design school that we've talked about before. You can create a team in here. This shows you what is available through Canva print. It gives you more information. It shows you some popular templates. And as you can see, the options are constantly expanding. I remember once upon a time, it was just about printing business cards. Now you can send posters, flyers, invitations. They even print rack cards, which is awesome if you are a member of a chamber of commerce and you want to put some ads within their lobby or a visitor center, for instance. If we click here, they can also print your trifolds. So this is going to constantly expand as Canva adds new services in 2020. And perhaps they'll send you an email, but sometimes they don't. So I would say at least once a month, make sure that you're clicking around so that you can make sure that you're utilizing all of the features available to you, especially if you're paying for Canva Pro. So I hope you found this video useful. I encourage you while you have some downtime, do some clicking around, see which apps you can utilize in your business that maybe you haven't before. I guarantee you there is some integration there, whether it is Google Drive or Dropbox that you can connect to save yourself some time. I've also done a little bit of digging and I realized you do not have to give Canva access to your entire drive or your entire Dropbox. You can specify which things it has access to. So keep that in mind if you connect it and don't want Canva to be connected to your entire account. This video was part of the Canva create a -thon. It was my crazy idea to create 25 videos about Canva leading up to Christmas, and I can safely say 23 have been made, only two to go. What you need to do is to be the first person to find all 25 secret words in my video to win a Squarespace website. I'm giving away one website to the first person to tell me all 25 words. Just to give you a heads up, the video that will be posted on Christmas Day will not be posted until the night of Christmas Day. I want you guys to enjoy your family, take some time away. So just know that video will not go live until the evening. So no need to tune in in the morning to see if a new video has been posted. So go ahead, grab a pen and paper. I'm about to drop the secret word for this video. Make sure that if you missed any, you go back and catch them because again, I'm only giving one site away. The secret word is integrations, mainly because I've already used the word app. So hopefully you guys discovered some new tools that you can use in your business next year. Let me know in the comments what was the biggest surprise that I uncovered in this video. If you have not already, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe because I teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, to talk for now.